And now for a quick tour of the house, as long as I just took movies of the garden, August 29th, 2019. This is my kitchen. It's a small kitchen with the microwave oven. There's a slow cooker with a pork roast in it. There's my lovely gas stove. I keep lots of house plants inside the house. So here's some arrowhead plant growing out of water. There's a variation of jade plants. Little tiny pots growing in the windowsill. It's a lovely stone plant and an aloe vera. This, of course, is one of those bamboozles that's growing out of a vase of water. Last year, I strung together this big string of, of hot peppers for use in cooking over the winter, and I've just left them there over a year at this point. Here's a nice beetle's calendar. And more houseplants. In the corner, I have a dwarf palm, a desert island palm. I have a... This is a nice orchid that flowered for me all winter long but now doesn't want any flowers and that's a beefsteak begonia lovely lovely red leaves on it we have the spider plant that we got a cutting from at normandale and on this side i got this black and white or this green and white succulent i forget what it's called uh here's sort of the the pride of this window is this is a fresh grown coffee plant I got three beans off of my big coffee tree over the winter and I planted one of the beans. I still have the other two and that bean actually sprouted after about two months and you get two plants out of each bean like that. Over here in the front window, well there's the front door in this 1960s style door fixture as you come through the entryway, a very sort of 60s neo art deco. There's my books. And this is the coffee tree. The coffee tree, so I got from Como when it was just a little plant, and it's about six feet tall now. You keep it out of direct sunlight, and it's it's done really, really well. That's a yucca, another begonia. I have some uh, Easter lilies, I think they're called. Oh, Christmas lilies, uh, lobelia uh, plants. No, they're not. Amaryllis, that's what those are called. I got an amaryllis flower for Christmas, and mostly people grow those and throw them out, but I actually saved uh, the seeds from that amaryllis flower, and I've grown about a dozen of these amaryllis. This, this one here uh, actually has already had a, a flower on it, so I have a bunch of these, and when they start flowering, I'm going to give them away for Christmas. This is my big jade plant. It's just hanging off the, the edge in all directions, the way that jade plants want to do. That's an arrowhead plant growing out of my aquariums. That's a 15 gallon aquarium with tiger barbs, all, all live aquatic plants. Wouldn't have it any other way, you see the barbs in there. And this lower 20 gallon tank has got an, just one nasty angelfish I call Dickhead because he tries to bite your finger every time you go in there. A school of Pearl Daniels, one blue grammy, and then there's a school of Crebinsis in there. The Crebinsis cichlids from West Africa are really, really good breeders. The one with the red belly there is a female, ready to breed, and most of the other ones are males. They, uh, they put together these sort of extended families and they live in harmony. And again, all the plants are, are alive. There's the fuzz again. He's following me around while I do this. He wants to be in the movies. That's my 1919 Victrola in the basement. There's tons and tons of 78 records to play on it. Mostly stuff like Doris Day and Bing Crosby. All the uh, good Louis Armstrong and Bix Biederbeck is worn out, and the records are really, really fragile. That's my Seagull guitar, my Canadian guitar. Here's my German banjo. There's a mountain dulcimer made in Romania hanging on the wall. Time doesn't allow me to show all the instruments. <laughs> this is a Merlin. It's a dulcimer that you play like a guitar, and that's also a Seagull instrument made in Montreal, Canada. There's a baritone ukulele. There's another baritone, better baritone ukulele. This is a uh, balalaika, a Russian balalaika made in Portugal. And in front of it is a Martin ukulele, tenor size. Bunch of guitar cases. Then things get really dark, I guess. There's, that's my set of, of congas, LP congas. Just going to come out really grainy, maybe not worth it. The rest of the office, there's a keyboard there 
I shouldn't go in my room since it's really messy. There's a bunch of CDs and stuff. And my son went for a walk because he's not here, but this is his room. That's his computer and he has his very own jade plant because he likes my giant jade plant. <laughs> We're going to redo his room tomorrow. This is the last room in the house that has carpet in it. By this time tomorrow, this will not be the last room in the house with carpet in it. That will be over. And that was a quick tour of Dr. Ron's house and all his house plants. Thanks for playing. We should do one more thing. I never did show the plants that are around the, the spruce tree in the front. It's really just Lily of the Valley and some hostas. What's really nice is the the giant hosta. I planted this like right away when we moved in years and years ago, 15 years ago now. And that's like the biggest hosta I've ever seen anywhere. It's about six feet across and about three feet high. It's enormous. Thanks for playing. <laughs>